Amsterdam calling. So pick up. Bon appetit. That's off to the chef. This is fantastic. Hey everyone, we are back in the red light district to uncover another one of its hidden secrets. Hmm. And my partner in crime today is Anna from Anna Travel Foodie Blog. Hi Giselle, nice to meet you. Well, as you know, I love food and I love writing about food, so I'm really excited about the place we're going today. What we're talking about is this place behind us. It's at Oudehausstraat 22, and it's the smallest house in Amsterdam. Yes, it's only 2.02 meters wide and 5 meters deep. And its front facade is also the narrowest in Amsterdam. Let's go inside. Yeah? yeah? Cute. On the ground floor is a lovely quaint tea shop with a wide variety of fresh loose teas, prepackaged teas, tea sets, and tea accessories. Oh, wow. oh nice. But the real surprise is what's upstairs. How cute is this? In the smallest house, this must be the smallest tea room. Hi, I'm Nils. I'm the owner of the smallest house in Amsterdam and welcome in our little tea room. I'm Thank looking you. forward to the food. He had me at lemon curd. And it feels like you got your own private tea room. Yeah! <laughs> It's really nice. Oh, it's so creamy. I've never had a tea like this before. The smallest tea room serves up special brunches and high teas with tea from the shop downstairs. And delicious sandwiches, eggs, sweets, and homemade pies, all from their own kitchen. So Niels just brought us homemade scones with clotted cream and homemade lemon curds. Mm-hmm. Mm <laughs> oh, this lemon curd's amazing. Can you come to my house? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us a little something about the history of the house? I'm so glad you asked. Um, well, this picture is taken in 1918, so almost 100 years ago. More than a year ago, an old man came into my store and he gave me this picture. And he explained to me that his father, Robert Esler, was living here with his grandmother and his aunt. My parents also bought this house in 1962. My mother-in-law, she started here in a luxury gift shop. Lots of businessmen from outside Amsterdam were spending some time in the red light district. And afterwards, they bought some nice presents downstairs for the wives at home. So <laughs> the guilty presents. So, uh, so never trust a man <laughs> with presents from Amsterdam. <laughs> Alright, so Niels just brought us this typical Dutch pastry called boterkoek. It actually literally means butter cookie because there's a lot of butter in it. It's really tasty. Now, these are not your typical Amsterdam brownies. Don't get any of those ideas. Neil made these um, kind of like the American brownies, but with less sugar. The Netherlands versus America. <laughs> Boterkoek versus brownies. <laughs> well, my famous apple pie made this morning. It's uh, my mother's recipe, so I hope you like it. <laughs> Dutch apple pie is a very messy uh, endeavor, so... <laughs> it's really delicious. The shop is open during regular business hours. However, you will need to make a reservation if you'd like to eat and drink up here in the tea room. You can also hire the tea room for special events or for holidays, like Easter. What a cute surprise. You would walk by that place a thousand times and never know it's there. Anna, thank you so much for being here today. It was so great to finally meet you. Thank you so much for having me and it was really nice to meet you too. And the food was delicious. So Anna, how can people learn more about you online? Well, I've got my website on travelfoodie.com and I'm also on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. I'm everywhere. <laughs> if you'd like more information on anything that you saw today, just check out the link that's below. And while you're at it, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more Amsterdam videos brought to you weekly. Goodbye! See you next time! <laughs>